Hello everybody and welcome to the 8th eighth part of our Dwarf Fortress adventure. Today, if you remember last time, someone went insane or something like that last time, so let's carry on um, and see what this person actually, this dwarf, sorry, wants to do or what is what they're doing. Let's just see, okay, they're running around crazy. Where, where are they gone? Um... <laughs> Sometimes they go crazy because they want certain things. You'll find that. Oh, oh dear, what's going on? Ooh, bit of lag there. Um, you'll find that the person sometimes goes to the. If they enter a trance, they'll go to the uh, craft dwarfs workshop or whatever. If they're a craft dwarfsman, they'll go to their workshop and then they'll enter a trance, and then you have to bring them certain items. Um, for all of them to make this thing, generally it comes out as like a an artifact or a sub, like a really high quality item. But if you don't get the stuff for them, they tend to go insane. Um, oh, there, there he is. But at the moment, they're not doing any, anything, so hopefully they'll calm down. And if I remember last time, I set my dwarves to do some kind of stuff. I need to I'll make some doors because I like stone stone doors or rock doors I should say. A bit more secure than wooden doors. I was gonna let's no I can't do anything with that just yet. Leave that to Tana Hide. Can't do anything with that really. Someone's making some leather armor, wooden crafts. We can make some rock crafts considering we've got a load of rock just lying about. Generally I would be able to stockpile outside and then I get rid of it, but I can't be bothered. And it means your dwarves are running back a lot just to get rid of the uh, stone from out of your uh, fortress. Uh, it can take a while. If you've got enough dwarves, then you can uh, do that, then it's fine. Okay, so according to, I just did a little bit of research, according to to all therapists at least, a person who is taking a strange mood, who I believe is possessed, this person here, she is a blacksmith, or a potter, uh, okay, so I'll have a look through the workshops, I don't think I can actually make a blacksmith, because I haven't got an anvil for some reason. You need an anvil. If you don't have an anvil, you can't do any kind of metal work. You can trade for one, and I will have to do that if another trade caravan turns up. And next, um, sorry, if another trade caravan turns up at some point. Um. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look. No, it's a metal smith's forge. There isn't a blacksmith. I think. I think technically the metal smith is the blacksmith. Yeah, I need an anvil, uh, and I haven't got one unfortunately. So, I'm just gonna have to wait for trade. In the meantime, I am going to start off with my. Oh. Oh, ignore that <laughs> at the bottom. Um, it's a different person. I am going to start expanding my military because we need to prevent child snatchers and we need to stop goblins and other people like that from coming in and trying to attack us and kill us. So if you remember last time I made it a barracks. We need to assign someone to our military so I'm going to just go back to Dwarf Therapist and have a look who is kind of who's good at their military skills so we can put them into a squad. So this guy here, and then this guy here, um, Cabdol, and then Kogan. So I'm going to make Kogan the leader. So I'm just going to go back, and then I shall go over to our barracks. Actually, no, I'm not going to go to our barracks. I'm going to go to the military tab here. Okay, first we're going to create a squad. I'm going to use leather armour, because I think we've got some leather armour, or f hopefully, so I'm just going to use leather armour as the kind of uniform they wear. That On the left there you got the name of the squad, and I'm going to put in some people for the squad. So it was... Oh, where am I going? Vacant. 
here we go. I'm going to put in. Let's have a look. It was Kogan and Cabdol. So let's find Kogan. There he is. And Cabdol. Where is he? There he is. I'm also going to put in another person because two is quite a small squad. This person, um, Dastot, and or possibly Sodir or something like that. I can't, can't be bothered to say the names. Um, okay, so Dastot. And then it was that one. Okay. Oh, there he is. Okay, now I've made the squad. I can issue them commands. I can issue training. I'm going to set them to active training. So they're going to use the room which we're going to which we assigned to barracks. So we're going to assign it to the squad so they can sleep in there and then they can train in there. You can get training weapons to advance their skills. These generally are wooden, so they don't hurt as much. You, there's are there are many tricks around to gaining lots of XP so they rack up but I'm not going to bother with that I can't be bothered okay I am going to do a few other things as well the military I'll show you later like I said but I am going to I've forgotten already I'm going to sign a sign I should say the Broker skill and the record keeper skill. If we can have a broker, we've definitely got someone who can do record keeping anyway. So I'm going to build an office for these guys. These guys, they'll just sit in their room and they'll count stuff or whatever. If the broker, they'll go to the trade depot when they're needed. So I'm going to put some doors on. We have. There we go. And I'm also going to put a table and a chair in there for the moment. So, chair throne. You can always put more stuff in. They do like more stuff eventually. See if they're... Uh, oh, they're here they come. They're placing the doors now. They don't take too long, actually. They're quite efficient with their, with their things. So that's, that's good. That chef decided to want to eat there. I think it's a chef. I'm going to put also put some start putting the uh, doors and beds in these rooms here at some point. Okay, I'm going to assign the roles as I said. So uh, we need to go to N for nobles. We need to assign the manager. The manager needs the sorry, not the manager. We need the broker who needs the appraisal appraisal. I'm not sure I'd say appraisal skill or something like that. So I'll have a look who has. We have two here. We have one put they're both they're both the same, so it doesn't really matter. I might get the coal person to do the um appraisal. Basically this is gonna be the broker now, so coal No Coal Is it bread or something like that? It must be her. Okay, I'll set her. We need a bookkeeper as well. This is basically the person who sits in their office and counts stuff. <laughs> they count our stocks, what we've got, etc. I need to find someone who can be a record keeper. So we have this person here, Dascot, who's also in the military. So we might get her out if possible because she is the best. Now you'll see that he has certain requirements here. We can have a look. They need a meager office, which I'm going to give her. The broker doesn't need one, but I'll give the broker one anyway. So I'm going to assign the office we made here to the broker. Is it the broker? No, the. So I've forgotten already. <laughs> how rubbish is how rubbish is that? Uh, yeah, the bookkeeper. Sorry. Now, I think we make it a throne room slash study, and we need to assign it to a person who needs it. So, we, I think the bookkeeper there. I, so, I think that's right. So, if we go, yes. 
now we can see that the they're fine now they, they've got what they need we can get them to count our stocks so if we go to the bookkeeper and we go to settings we can see how accurately we want them to measure our stocks obviously it takes longer for the higher precision so I'm going to put high precision because I want I like to know how much we've got so what they'll do is they'll you'll see them go into their office and they'll come around and then they'll kind of stand in the stockpiles and stuff like that and measure everything they'll count everything we need some more logs apparently okay so let's have a look I have assigned someone to chop them down is that someone going off now ah yes that's fine okay so hopefully we'll make some beds etc things like that okay so the appraiser sorry no the bookkeeper oh, getting all confused sorry um, you can see they're sitting in their office I'm not sure why there's a barrel there um, <laughs> um, that's supposed to be a chair but for some reason it, it's a picture of a barrel um, okay so that's they're sitting in their office they're going for all the records they'll uh, and I'll update us for them so we can see we have exactly here on our food stores or roughly but it's pretty solid we have quite a lot of plants we have a fair amount of meat we have a fair amount of drink we have a fair few seeds as well we can also go to our oops go to our stocks here and then we can see exactly what we've got so we have a lot of wine we have only one battle axe, we need some more weapons really because they won't, <laughs> our military, they'll kind of fight with their fists if they haven't got anything, they will fight, it's not like you don't give them a weapon, they won't do anything, they will do something we just need to uh, make some weapons for them unfortunately have a lot of stone <laughs> We can see what else we've got. We've got some rope and stuff. We've got some buckets. We need some more barrels, really. We need stuff to store our alcohol in. So let's. We can actually make some more drinks as well. And we'll see what kind of things we can pl we're planting as well. Spring, summer. And I'm going to change dimple cups to cave weight if I can. And D, I'm going to leave it at plump helmets. Okay, I'm going to leave it for that for this one. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's been it has been a bit uneventful. I'm uh, I'm I'm afraid to say. Hopefully we'll have a bit more action next time for you. Okay, so I'll see you next time.